Duchenne muscular dystrophy or DMD and Becker's muscular dystrophy BMD are both the most common form of X-linked muscular dystrophy. It affects in about 1 in 3,500 boys. It often occurs in people without a known family history of the condition. Because of the way the disease is inherited, males are more likely to develop symptoms than are women. In the sons of females who are carriers of the disease each have a 50% chance of having the disease. The daughters each have a 50% chance of being carriers. The mutation occurs at the short arm of X chromosome, locus 21, band 2, a gene that codes for the dystrophin protein. Dystrophin proteins are absent in Duchenne muscular dystrophy, whereas they are insufficient in Becker's muscular dystrophy. DMD affected children are normal at birth. As time progresses, the symptoms worsen. Children with DMD usually have trouble moving around. They have trouble getting up, running, walking, and they usually fall down frequently. Boys affected are usually diagnosed between the ages of 1 and 5. You'll see boys standing up using a maneuver called the girl's maneuver. This is due to the muscles are weakened. It's pretty hard for them to stand up. As time progresses, the distal muscles become progressively involved and muscles may exhibit pseudo-hypertrophy. Features of DMD and BMD are necrosis and degenerations of the muscle fibers with gradual replacement of muscles by fat and fibrous connective tissue. The muscles may seem huge, but they are actually weakened. You see some of the boys walk on their toes a lot. This is because of the Achilles tendon is tightened up. Kids with DMD don't have muscles that function like they should. In the early stage, they need support to help them walk. As they approach adulthood, they'll be wheelchair dependent.